We are on a quest to make Real Madrid the best team in the world again. In the last episode, we made our first two signings in Maxence Lacroix and also Gabri Vega. Now we still have pretty much over 200 million to spend and we have had a decent start, but to win Real Madrid another Champions League title, Carlo Ancelotti needs more signings. So if you want daily episodes, then drop a like and let's get back into this Real Madrid career mode. So Carlo Ancelotti was in a Real Madrid board meeting with Real Madrid president Florentino Perez. Now Perez says that he wants a big name signing, that after losing Benzema, he wants another Galactico in this team, and that we are not going to be afraid to spend money. Now, first comment, like the fact that you're keeping it realistic, I think you should sign Santiago Jimenez. Hey, for those who know, Kensington legend Santiago Jimenez. And yeah, I feel like he would be great in this uh, Real Madrid team. And hey, we do need a backup striker, so it sounds like a pretty good idea. And next one, bringing back Hakimi would be an ideal signing for this season. Yeah, so Hakimi back to Real Madrid. I mean, obviously, he would be amazing in this team. In terms of like a Danny Carvajal replacement, you can't go wrong with Hakimi, so I'm not sure we're going to target that in this first window, but for the future, once again, another really good idea. And last one, change formation to 4-3-3 three, three with the CDM and also for striker by Ozeman. All right, so I've made a team sheet with a 4-3-3 three, three in case you want to play that. More of a, I would say, traditional lineup. Although I think for now, we're going to keep it with the 4-1-2-2 uh, one, two, two to keep it realistic. And then in terms for Mr. Uh, Victor Ozeman, I mean, he'd be a true Kareem Benzema replacement and he would be amazing in this team. But that is a pretty big target to go after. Now, I did add some players in the shortlist. Give me your guys' uh, suggestions in the comments. So this is a pretty like beefy uh, shortlist with some very good players on it, some big targets. Now, once again, 200 million to spend and only five Five days left of the window. So our transfer business needs to be done now. Now looking at the current squad in our first three games, Hosele was actually looked really good at striker, but he's on loan and he's already dropping an overall and now he's down to 81. And I mean, for us to make this team the best team in the world, I feel like we need a better backup striker. And then behind Rodrigo Vinicius, we don't really have like a backup winger. I guess Brahim is that, but Brahim's not even that fast to be a winger. So I think after signing Lacroix and Vega, we are going to target a new backup striker and also a winger. Pretty much do both of this team and get them ready for the season. And as expected, there were a lot of comments talking about Killian and Mbappe to Real Madrid. Now, once again, this first window, we're going to try to keep it uh, mostly realistic. So we're not going to just go out and sign Mbappe right now, but his contract runs out in, uh, in a year or so. In January, we could sign like a pre-contract with Mbappe, or we could go after a player like Victor Osman instead to be that Benzema replacement. I mean, there's even Lautaro Martinez who would also be very good in this team and a player that I've not used a lot in career mode. But for right now, all we need is pretty much a backup striker, someone to replace Jose Lu on the bench for now. And I think Santiago Jimenez from Feyenoord, the Mexican striker, is pretty much the perfect option here. He's young, he's got so much potential, and he's a pretty balanced player. Like, as you can see, for a striker, he's got pretty good defending, dribbling. Now he's He's not like rapid quick, but I really like his stats. And with Hosalu pretty much dropping an overall, he's gonna be probably 80 soon. He managed to probably outgrow him pretty quick. Now he might cost around 44 million though. I mean, that's kind of a lot for a 79 rated player, but I just would not feel comfortable going into the season with only Hosalu. Hosalu is still gonna play, I think, but we just need one more striker. Now I'm gonna start with, uh, let's start with maybe 32.5. Uh, let's do 31.5 instead. 31 and Feyenoord are going to want, they want Carvajal. Why would they want Carvajal? Let's try 34.5 million, accept it, Feyenoord. 34.5 and they want a 4% sell on clause. Okay. You know what? I think I can do that. 4%, that's nothing. Now, he wants a release clause of 84.4 million. I mean, I'm fine with that. Now, his wages, we gave the qual like 70,000, so I think he's gonna want around 70,000. Let's do 80. Hey, he's a Galactico now, so he's gotta get paid. But Santiago Jimenez is going to be signed up. So, Joselu is no longer the only striker in our squad. And this one, we actually have signed permanently. So, Santiago Jimenez, welcome to Real Madrid. Honestly, he's got the name of a potential superstar already. And maybe he's the next star for Real Madrid if he develops. So, backup striker is now sorted. Now, it's time for a backup winger to Vinicius and Rodrigo. And this one, I think, is gonna be a, a much bigger name signing. Still, 173 million to spend. Now, I was thinking about Julian Alvarez from Man City, but he might be in the same boat as like Lautaro Martinez, Osman, and Mbappe, where when we decide to sign like a really big striker, maybe he could be in that uh, that running for it. Right now, we pretty much need like a true winger. And the player that I want to bring to Real Madrid is Leroy Sané. Now, all the way back when Sané was at Schalke, Real Madrid tried to sign him, but obviously it didn't work out. But I think he would be perfect in this team. He would be just another insane option alongside Vinicius and Rodrigo. I mean, he's got pace, he's got shooting, he's got dribbling. He's pretty much everything you want a forward. Also, some pretty good play styles too. Now, that weak foot can use some training to uh, get that up a little bit, but I want Leroy Sané in this Real Madrid team. And he actually might not cost as much as I thought he would. We are going to try maybe like, let's do a healthy offer. Let's go 47.5 to start. That is a respectable first offer there. Now, Bayern are going to want, they want Kamavinga. That is not happening. Never. Um, 49.5, Bayern. They are going to accept that 49.5 for Leroy Sané. That right there is an absolute steal. And I bet if we make him like a left winger or right winger, his overall would probably go up to 85 at least. Now, he's not the biggest name, obviously, but it feels like another Galactico type signing. And that is a Galactico type wage right there. But hey, I think he deserves it. So Leroy Sané has been signed up to Real Madrid. That right there is our biggest signing of this first window. In the nightmare case where Rodrigo Vinicius get injured, we have Leroy Sané behind them. That's such a luxury to have. And the Real Madrid president wanted a big signing. Leroy Sané is a very big signing for Real Madrid. So officially welcome to the club. So definitely going to make him a right winger, which that should take only like two weeks here. Wait, 18 weeks? Wait, what? Why would it take? Okay, it's two weeks for a left winger. I guess I'll do left wing then right wing maybe. But his overall has got to go up as a winger. Come on. 
it's gotta be like 85 86 at least so that'll be interesting to see but oh man i am very happy with this pickup and you can see how instantly with uh jimenez and sane our bench looks so much stronger so i am happy with that and i think this team is set for the first half of the season now and we still have over 100 million for january and that could go up when we sell players too so i feel like we put this team in a very good spot so deadline day i think we're all pretty much done the transfer window is now officially shut okay already lua sane is ready to turn into a winger already that's pretty quick now he's got to go up to 85 at least he's gonna go up to an 86 overall okay yeah i knew there'd be a big jump like that now it's still gonna take 15 weeks to be a right winger that makes uh zero sense but i guess we'll just leave him on that but 86 rated now that makes it an even better signing and i think we just robbed Bayern munich because after that his value has jumped up to 72.5 million yeah that feels like robbery now in our next game we face Rao sociedad and this right here is first first second both teams have not drawn or lost a game and i think it's time for a leroy sane debut game so in front of the home fans sane starts for rodrigo and i'm excited for his debut i feel like there's some players that look weird in certain kits i feel like sane looks good in a real madrid kit it kind of looks like he belongs in one if you know what i mean okay so today they start the season off uh four wins out of four games we we're gonna have some very big games in the episode but so are okay oh no no i just took out kubo Oh, is that gonna be a red? Alaba gets yellow. Okay, that could have been a that could have been a red card immediately. As I was saying, Rao Sociedad, they're a pretty good team, I think. And so far, episode one, we didn't actually face that many good teams. Okay, Keppa. What are we doing, Keppa? Please grab it. Okay, I'm not sure what that was, but we survive at least. All right, Alaba, I need you to not get sent off this game. You got a yellow. We got to be careful here. Now, Carvalho into Sane. Sane, first touch. He lost it. That's not a good first impression. Might have been a bad pass, though. You know, I usually don't like narrow formations like this, but it actually has been pretty good so far but they might score oh man i almost uh, took out marino is that marino i think yeah it's marino i almost took him out as a shot which would have been alaba's second yellow that was dangerous it has been a decent start for sociedad carval sane leaves it for valverde valverde out to carval this looks decent now carval crossover all the way to vinicius vinicius gets it but it goes wide okay but the effort was insane kimbavinga just pretty much ripped it from kubo there come on sane show what you can do in this team show it sane gets it to vinicius vinicius needs a stop needs a pass finds bellingham bellingham into Federico Valverde. Gets it. No, Sane was right there for like an open shot. Chua many. That is a very strong and beautiful tackle right there. And Kubo, if you guys know, he is like one of my bogey players. He always plays well against me. Now Bellingham out to Fran Garcia. Garcia gets it through to Vinicius. Vinicius, great touch there. Now he's got a chance to go for a finesse shot. That isn't a fall. Kindly to Garcia. Into Vinicius. Toe poke finish. And it's right at the keeper though. Bellingham early cross. Vinicius all oh, was right there for him. Now Chua many. From the stratosphere, that's handball, actually. I might want that free kick, actually. Jude Bellingham's in, and Jude should have scored that. Okay, we're coming to life, though, at least. Federico Valverde crossing Alaba with a yellow card. He completely missed that header. Valverde, finesse shot. Oh, my. He just sent that to space. Okay, they got a free kick. Kind of a dangerous spot, actually, but that is out by too many. Zubimendi, dangerous. Bellingham, though, a very good tackle right there. Sané to Valverde, over to Carvajal, who's got Bellingham. Bellingham, good ball. Now, Bellingham running all the way gets it to Leroy Sané is looking for a shot okay he took that so far wide and what was that shot once again that wasn't even close he might get a better chance here which he does Leroy Sané is in a better chance to score and the shot is right at Ramiro all right final corner of the first half cross in looks good can someone get it no they can't Mavinga head it into the mix now too many get it back to Alba over to Vinicius Vinicius in the box gets it back to Valverde Valverde is that a better finesse shot? I think it was, but it's going to be blocked. Bellingham is not going to get the header. And okay, that is the first half. You know what? That was quite a sloppy first half, but this goal is coming. And I smell a Leroy Sané uh, opening goal. Probably doesn't, uh, actually doesn't sound that right. I'm not sure why that would actually smell. So many. Bellingham into Leroy Sané. Sané to Garcia. Garcia tries to find a pass here. Bellingham's right there, but can't get the ball to him. The Madrid fans are getting restless here. I might start hearing some boos. Hey, that is a great ball though. Oh, is he offside? He's actually onside, I think. Okay, Rudiger, though, that defending is just expert defending. Okay, Kemavinga has so much space here to just run. Get it back, Vinicius. Should score here. Vinicius shoots. Okay, Sane, you are a mile offside there. Like, literally a mile. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alaba with a yellow card. Defending Andre Silva. Gets it back to him. Silva turns. He shoots. And Keppa can't make the save. It's 1 0 to Real Sociedad. Keppa, come on. You got to at least get something on that. I mean, it might have been bad defending, but I feel like the shot is definitely in saveable range. Yeah, Keppa, what are you doing? Okay, down 1 0 after all our chances. We can't score. 58th minute, Real Sociedad score the first goal of the game. And they're showing why they're currently in first place after uh, four games. Vinicius out to Fran Garcia. Garcia, crossover. Bellingham is going to get ahead to that. The header actually was not that bad, but it goes wide. Not going to lie, we are not looking good in the second half so far. Kubo is in again. Kubo. Okay, Frank Garcia ran right by him, and then Alaba gets a clearance. We are looking shaky right now. We got about 20 minutes to turn this around, and we got to do it fast. My oh boys, spread this play. Bellingham over to Valverde, in to Carvajal. And Carvajal is looking for a pass here, but no one's giving him a good spot. Valverde gets it to too many. Into Bellingham, Bellingham into Vinicius. Vinicius shoots. It's a good shot, but it's also a good block. We will try this again. Sane gets it to Bellingham, actually. Bellingham 
Into Valverde. Bellingham steals it into Valverde. Valverde shoots. And once again, it's blocked. Bro, Sociedad have been so good today. Okay, Cruz on for Valverde. Then Modric on for Kamavinga. We need fresh legs. We need experience here to try and get us at least a point in this game. Honestly, we have looked uh, a lot worse in this game compared to the last three games. I like, guess more so Sociedad is playing very good against us. But we do not stop trying to fight here. Cruz might have uh, Vinicius. Oh, man. Okay, he's covered. Go to Carvajal. Carvajal. Back. Tony Cruz. Do many. Over to Jude Bellingham. A chance to score. Romero saves it. Leroy Sané. Rebound. And Leroy Sané has actually scored the equalizer. Okay. That came out of nowhere, but Leroy Sané gets his debut goal. Now, I don't think we should be celebrating a draw like this, but it's nice to see Sané just pop up out of nowhere and score. It was not an easy game for him, but just pounds his final second. That is a tight angle to score from. Still scores. Okay. We still have four minutes to now win this game. Can we score a dramatic winner? I think we got four minutes left. Actually, more like a minute left. Come on. They're just playing for a draw. They're just keeping it so calmly. No, we had a chance there. A ball was going to the middle and the ref blows the whistle. Okay, it's going to be a draw. Honestly, we played terrible that game. That was a really bad game. But we still get a point. We keep our unbeaten streak. And Leroy Sané does get a debut goal. If we want to win another Champions League, though, we got to be so much better than that. But hey, the new star, Leroy Sané, does grab the headlines. And speaking of uh, Champions League, that is going to be our next game. So our group is Napoli, Braga, and Union Berlin. Now, Napoli, very good team. And Union Berlin, also a very sneaky team. They could be tough to beat as well. But our first game is against Napoli, who, as we know, are a very, very strong team. Now, I feel like an attack, the team is like way too narrow. So I'm going to make our width and attack maybe like 60. So that should mean like the whole attack should just spread out more. Because I feel like we're way too close to each other a lot of times. But it's time for the opening day of the Champions League group stage. Our quest for another Champions League title for Real Madrid starts now. And in the tunnel before this game, Carlo Ancelotti finds Victor Osman. And Ancelotti says, Osman, we'll treat you much better if you sign for Real Madrid. And Osman laughs and says, hey, we'll see in January where things are. And he says, I'm open to anything. So in this first Champions League game, maybe we scout our future star striker in Victor Osman. But I want to give Santi Jimenez his debut this game. Let's play Modric. Modric is very unhappy. Let's play him for uh, Kemavinga. But other than that, same front two as before as Vinicius and Rodrigo as we try to get a win in our first uh, Champions League game of the year. Now, I'd say this is probably the best team we've faced uh, so far in this series. So this should be like a real challenge. But the only way to find out is to play the game. Yeah, Modric is very unhappy that I've played uh, Kamavinga over him. I feel like Kamavinga, he's, he's very good defensively. So he's very useful having that left back spot or that left mid spot. He tracks back as a left back as they almost score the first goal of the game. But yeah, I do prefer Kamavinga in that left uh, center mid role. But today, Luka Modric plays. Hopefully, he impresses me as he steals the ball right there. That is a beautiful start for him. Now, Napoli seem like they're playing with a very high line. Okay, Osman, please stop. Osman, I will maybe sign you. Maybe. There's a chance. But if you score against me, it's not happening. They might score anyways. Okay, Kepa, that is a great save. We like to see that right there. Okay, already, Napoli, had a very good start. And Vinicius with the play style is actually insane. Like, he just feels so good on the ball. Now, this has been a lot of possession for Napoli, which is just not a good thing for us. We can't let teams have this much possession. Lobotka scores an outside the box screamer, and it's 1-0 to Napoli. As I'm saying that, that's why we can't let them just have the ball like that much. Now, I was not expecting the bot to score like this though it's a shot and it's pretty much just uh I guess right past Kepa. Okay, this game has been once again not a great start. Come on, we can make a comeback. We can get back in this game. We are supposed to go for our 15th uh, Champions League title. We can't lose the first Champions League match of the series. Into Vinicius. Vinicius shoots. Okay, that might go in. Oh, that does go in. It's 1-1. I don't know what that was. Vinicius shoots off the keeper and it just barely goes in. But hey, it's 1-1. I don't mind. That is definitely a very odd goal though. Now, is that Vinicius goal or is that an own goal? That is a Vinicius goal. Okay. This game is tied up. Immediate response. I like to see it. Too many. Over to Rodrigo. We got space here, Rodrigo. To Valverde. Oh, Valverde just got... He just like, got ripped actually right there. I was not expecting Valverde to lose the ball like that. Osman, Osman. Oh, Osman, stop. He is trying to show that we, why we should sign him. Lobotka's going to score again. Okay, how is Lobotka have two against us? Where is my like defensive midfield? And it was all started by Osman though. Like he picks out a great pass to him too. Yeah, Chuameni is just completely just ball watching there. Okay, 2-1. That is once again a very bad response from us to just concede like that that easily. Bellingham, through to Vinicius. Come on, instant reply. Instant reply. Bellingham shoots, and it's right at their keeper, though. Rodrigo, out to Carvalho. Come on. We need a response. Bellingham might be in here. Bellingham. Bellingham gets it over to Rodrigo, who shoots, and he shoots right at Vinicius. you got to be kidding me. That was a golden chance. Rodrigo, over to Vinicius this time. Vinicius shoots, and it's right at the keeper's chest. Bro, I think Rodrigo would have scored there if Vinicius wasn't in the way. That is so unlucky. Vinicius into Jude. Bellingham with space to shoot, and that's blocked. Right, at least it is positive movements from us. Now, that's a header, and that's going to... Oh, that almost uh, fell in, too. That was deflected, actually. All right, Valverde. That is a very high cross. Corners. The header is not going to be anywhere near it, though. Okay, halftime. Now that we're facing these better teams, we're starting to see this team struggle a little bit. But now it's about how we respond as a team, and all oh, Rodrigo is going to be in there. Bro, Osman is an absolute nightmare to defend. An absolute nightmare. Rudiger. Okay, thankfully, play the ball out. That was not that good from Osman. Kavada, Kavada. All the moves. 
We're going to concede and Cavada's going to score and make it 3-1. Bro, it is just absolutely horrible defending. Like, I feel like the midfield is not covering the center backs at all right now. We should not be 3-1 down to Napoli, though. This has been very bad. We have been exposed by Napoli pretty much. Crossover. Okay, is it going to get worse? It's going to get worse because Osman scores again. Okay, we just can't defend this game. No one can win the ball back. No one can clear anything. No one can save anything. Osman scores and it's 4-1. Bro, this is making me sick. We have just like collapsed here in this game. Now, we still have time for a comeback, but if we want any chance, we got to score quick here. Marvel to Valverde. Come on, with players like this, we can always make a comeback. We know we can, but we got to get the ball to finish in that spot. Okay, we're going very attacking here. So, Sané is on for Modric and then Bellingham drops back and Jimenez goes up top for his debut. So, uh, this is very attacking. Pretty much our only chance to get back in this game. Now, okay, they might score another one. They're okay, Keppa. Keppa, you gotta save something. Are you kidding me? That was such a weak header. It's 5 1 to Napoli. What is actually happening right now? Like, this header is just right. Where is the marking, though, at the, at the far post? Carval is not marking anything. It's actually Nadja Fernandez. But the header, though, is right at Keppa. Keppa. Oh, it's just so bad. I miss Courtois already. It is 5 1 to Napoli. Bro, I am surprised. I'm shocked how good Napoli have been. I did not think they'd be this good. This shows, even on our sliders using a great team, it is still an insane challenge. But a challenge that we don't give up in true many shot gets blocked man we have just been able to do nothing this game sane steals it though into vinicius vinicius will shoot oh even the shot is right at the keeper and we got some big games in the the next game too the next two games so it's about to be rough today bellingham vinicius we don't stop fighting garcia into vinicius now try and find a shot here try and find something goes over to new signing Santi Jimenez, who hits the post looking for his debut goal man that was a very good attempt he was sane out to carval carval plays it through to santi Jimenez. Over to Vinicius. Okay, that was a good move. It's it's 5-2. I can't believe I'm saying it's 5-2. I can't believe that's the score line. Vinicius, grab the ball. He doesn't want to grab it. He just wants to celebrate. Okay, we're now three goals down with 10 minutes to go. Santi Jimenez at least gets an assist on his debut. If we made this comeback, it would be the most insane comeback of all time. Vinicius to Jimenez. Jimenez, over to Vinicius. We need runners, though. No one is running here. Vinicius has no ones to pass it to. Bro, the energy in the team is just so down right now. Crossover. That's going to be a drag back. They might score another. It's a, Is that a Nack and Williams? I don't know who that is. Oh my, Keppa just cannot save anything right now. It is 6-2 to Napoli. I'm like shocked here. Now, it might be a good shot, but I still feel like Keppa. He's just like not near any of these shots. He made that one save and that's pretty much it this game. This has been just a hopeless game. Like from the start, it was just not going to be our day. Man, this is a start of a new era for Real Madrid without Benzema. The transition from players and uh, it's a very dark day in that new era. Because we have just lost 6-2 to Napoli. I can't even believe that. We just literally, it felt like there was no chance this game for us at all. Napoli just played us all the way back to Madrid. Now in our first few games, Keppa wasn't that bad, but now I'm starting to question it. Do I need to be worried about Keppa? Should we give like Lunin a chance? I don't know what to do. And that was just, uh, that was just rough. So our quest for another Champions League title starts in an absolute nightmare. And now after that game, we face the Letigo Madrid, which they're one place below us in third. So now like an equally as tough game, the Madrid Derby. And before this game, Ancelotti in a press conference says that the last game was embarrassing. The effort in the team, the energy just was nowhere near good enough. The players have had some time to think about that performance, and now they have a chance to make up for it. Now, I'm wondering if making the width in the attack actually hurt the defense at all, so I'm going to lower this maybe to like 55. I don't know what happened that game. We just could not defend. But okay, now the Madrid Derby facing one of the toughest teams to beat in La Liga. This is going to be, I feel like, just as difficult. Now, I think Leroy Sané starts for Rodrigo. I'm going to play Mendy over Garcia. Mendy gets to start this game. I'm going to try that. And we go with that lineup right there. And we just desperately need a bounce back win. I am still in shock that we lost in that fashion. I mean, Ancelotti is, uh, if we keep losing like that, Ancelotti's job isn't going to be in question here. It's, he's going to be under pressure. So we just need a bounce back performance here. Now, in real life, Real Madrid lost this game, I think, pretty bad, right? So how about an opposite? How about we uh, lose the last game bad and then win this game good? The complete opposite of real life. Now, a big game for Mendy to show what he can do. Which Vinicius? Oh, is Mendy onside? Okay, I think he was offside of the pass, gets intercepted anyways. We have like an overload in midfield. There's no reason we should lose the midfield battle. Now, Bellingham might have Sané. Okay, I, what was that pass? What, was the, what did the camera even do? All right, Sané, very good still to get the ball back. Carvajal, Sané gets it to Bellingham. Now Bellingham over to Carvajal. Can we find maybe a cross? We might actually find a pass here. Okay, great ball into Bellingham. Bellingham shoots and it's going to be blocked on a Carvajal. Okay, Bellingham, you're offside there. But Carvajal is in here. Can we get the first goal? Carvajal gets it back to Bellingham. Of course, all these sh all these drag backs are always blocked. We just cannot find space in the box. Mbavinga. Now Mendy has space to work with. Come on, boys. We can definitely find a chance here. Valverde, we're going to find him. He's going to take a shot. Of course, it's blocked. And oh, we can't get a tackle there to find another shot. Bro, just every shot is blocked right now. And it is incredibly frustrating. Now, they get a chance at the box, Riesman. Just people out of position. But Rudiger makes a very good tackle. On A3, Vinicius. Vinicius might have space here, finally. Vinicius, please, must score this. Vinicius gets all the way to All Black. 
Rebound is fired in by Frederico Valverde, though. Okay, I totally messed up uh, that Vinicius chance. But that volley by Valverde, that thing had power on it. Just fired into the net. Finally, a breakthrough. Yeah, we waited way too long to shoot there, but at least Valverde was there to clean it up. That is a very cleanly hit ball right there. Okay, 1-0 to Real Madrid. At least we get the breakthrough. We had a fight for that one, though. Come on, can that get us back on track now? Ball gets through. Patrick Schick gets it back to Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann. Okay, so keep him in front of you. Keep him in front of you. Why is it so difficult? Too many. Please help me. He's just standing there. He's literally just standing there. Okay, Alba gets it, and we will get the ball out at least. Okay, that's halftime. Man, that was just desperate defending. Come on, 1-0 lead halftime. We should win this game. This should be a win. The second goal is so important here. Leroy Sané gets it back to many. Come on, find the good ball. Bellingham. Okay, it's actually going to Valverde. And Valverde will shoot. That's a very good shot. It's a good save, though. Come on, someone find this corner. Oh, Black comes all the way out for it. Oh, Valverde is putting this team on his back right now. Great ball into uh, Kamavinga. Kamavinga into Leroy Sané. Oh, man, Leroy Sané couldn't control it, though. I want the second goal, and I need it. I think I deserve it. Too many. Vinicius has a chance to go for a long ranger. Oh, that shot had no power on it, though. Vinicius into Bellingham. Bellingham. Sané, can you find space? Goes over to uh, oh, Kamavinga, but no one's there to help him out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad tackle by Valverde. Okay, it's going to be a yellow card. He's trying to get us the second goal. I like the aggression. I'm not mad. Just uh, don't get sent off, please. Man, Griezmann breaks our midfield, which is not good. Every time this happens, they get a dangerous chance. Mendy. Mendy's at a strong game at left back, though, I got to say. Carvajal to Valverde. Come on, boys. Find this second goal. Into Carvajal. Carvajal. No, I tried to play that as Sané, not to uh, Vinicius. Now, that is a very good ball to Thomas Lamar. Lamar needs a big tackle. Rudiger. That is a very good tackle right there. Valverde out to Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. Okay, gets it over. Actually, a great ball. Into Leroy Sané. Sané gets it all the way out to Mendy. Mendy. Man, they just get back in numbers. That five at the back. Too many, though. A chance to shoot. Of course, it's blocked. Chance is not done yet, though. Valverde shoots, and it's going to be right at All Black. Man, 12 minutes. I am sweating right now. Sané, great defensive work there. But it means nothing if we can't win the ball back and Schick. Gets a good a chance here, but Alaba. Oh, Mendy. Okay, good steal. We survived that barely. Okay, they push numbers up. We got a chance here to spring. And Jude Bellingham has space. Bellingham through to Valverde. Valverde is going to shoot. And I think we have just sealed this game. And it's Frederico Valverde. Oh, man. He has absolutely taken over this game in the midfield. Without him, I'm not sure we win this game. Man, on these sliders, though, like teams are hard to beat. And Atletico Madrid, just like real life, they're such a hard team to break down and beat, which is why I like these sliders so much. It makes a challenge no matter what team we're using. And this right here is going to be a very well earned win. Okay, bunch of uh, fresh legs on. After a 6-2 loss, a win against Atletico Madrid feels good. Hey, this might get worse for them because uh, Rodrigo is going to try to play it over the top team. And as you know what, it's a good idea, but he's not going to quite get it. All right, that should be full time. This right here was a very good win, a satisfying win. We had to absolutely fight for this, but we win the Madrid derby. Okay, after a few more games, we get top spot in La Liga. Only by one point, though, over Real Sociedad. So that bounce back win got us back on track, I think. Now, one thing I've kind of neglected here is the, uh, the coaching staff. We only have one coach in this team. So let's try and hire some more coaches here. Okay, we got Veronica Grande who's a five star and everything okay hired up to the midfield let's do that now can we find a defensive coach how do you guys feel about the coaching staff uh addition this year in career mode do you guys like it do you guys feel like uh, it's not that important or what um let's go for we gotta go for higher star coach let's go for this guy i know he's not the system but he's still a five star coach now is there anyone else that is worth picking up maybe uh kiroga in the midfield let's do that so we are gonna go after danny kiroga in the midfield and that might be the last coach for now and our stars are looking much better and that should help the team right there now so far this season jude bellingham has three goals and also seven assists so he He's not exactly scoring like real life, but he's assisting like crazy. So that's good. Now, once again, this episode is just full of tough games here. Our next game is Sevilla, which they are down. They're all the way down in 11th. Okay, they're actually doing very bad. That is kind of surprising. But Barcelona only three points behind us. Uh, Atletico Madrid only two points behind us. We got to keep this lead in first. Now, too many is tired of this game. So we might, we might slot in uh, Kamavinga at CDM. And that's by Tony Cruz. He hasn't played recently. Let's do that. Even though he has 48 pace, the man can barely run anymore. But we go with that against Sevilla. Now, I would say so far, Luar Sane looks good. These have been some tough games to uh, play his first games in but overall let's say it looks pretty good so a draw a big loss against napoli a big win against let it go madrid a win here for sevilla and we'd be right back on track now tony cruz gets it up to vinicius like frank garcia is a kind of a shaky episode definitely not as good as the episode one i mean he's a young player it's to be expected some inconsistency tony cruz to vinicius vinicius to bellingham this is a pretty good move over to leroy sane leroy sane Finds a shot and almost scores the first goal of the game. That was a very good save by uh, their keeper. Now, this is very dangerous, too. So, in a dangerous spot, Kamavinga tracks back very well there, though. Now, we could also play Kamavinga at left back. And we know in real life he's played there uh, recently. So, that's also another option. Could be like Kamavinga left back and then Modric maybe in the midfield. If uh, Mendy Garcia are not good enough, we also could do that. Although, I feel like that'd be wasting a lot of Kamavinga's uh, skill at left back. Cruz up to Valverde. Now, we got space here to spring. Carvajal into a Bellingham. Bellingham over to Vinicius. Beautiful pass. Now, Vinicius, this time, I don't think we're going to miss that. And this time, we are not going to 
a miss. Okay, one nil to Real Madrid. We're looking a little bit better now. We're looking more composed as a team. And now uh, Bellingham, another assist, by the way. 21st minute, one nil. And yeah, I, this is so dangerous. Kepa, please, Kepa, please protect him. Thankfully, my center backs protected Kepa. I feel like Vinicius is finding a lot of space between these center backs. Just like this again. Now Vinicius over to Sané. Leroy Sané will shoot from distance. It's going to be a good save, though. Yeah, their center backs feel uh, not very connected. One are in. Alaba. Okay, Alaba. I don't know what that was. Bellingham almost actually flicked it on, too. What a weird corner. Sané to Carvajal. Good ball. Now Carvajal gets it back to Jude. Jude. Pass down the middle. What a ball. Vinicius. Left-footed shot. That should be 2-0. And also another assist for Bellingham. I might try some short corners because we just can't score from corners. Okay, Alaba, as I say, that almost just did. Oh, no. That was from behind. Is it going to be yellow? Yellow? It's going to be just a yellow. Man, the, this cam scares me because you can't see the card. I always think it's going to be a red. Now, this right here is a dangerous spot. Loft it in. It is going to be awkwardly out, not all the way out, and then Cruz gets it out. Bro, Valverde is just an absolute beast. Now, defense leading straight to attack here. Valverde, no, as I say that, he plays a terrible pass to a Vinicius. That was so bad. I jinxed him. Okay, that's halftime now. 1-0. It feels like we're the better team here, but uh, we got to extend this lead. I do not like just slim 1-0 leads. Yeah, they're starting to really pressure here, so we got to be careful passing in the back. Do not make a fatal mistake, which should mean space should open up here, though. Vinicius turns, gets it through to Leroy. Sané, Leroy Sané shoots, and he just puts it so far wide. How is that shot that bad? I'm so confused. I feel like that's not Sané. That's the game. How is that shot that far wide? Make it make sense. That was a very good move, too. Valverde through to Bellingham. Bellingham, pass over to Sané. Sané goes to Vinicius. Oh, man, that was almost a really good ball. Vinicius might still win it. Vinicius, okay. We did uh, not actually win it there. And Vinicius is uh, putting the work in this game, though. Bellingham. From distance, shot keeper barely saved it. Okay, I'm going to go for a short corner. We have not scored from any corner. If Hosalu is not on the field, we stand no chance. But Vinicius, from a corner, finesse shot. Oh, that, that could have fell awkwardly to uh, Bellingham, actually. Oh, no. Look at Bakio's in. I'm not sure we have the pace to catch up here. Keppa, Keppa. Good save by Keppa, putting his body on the line. Man, Keppa is just so inconsistent. Makes good save and then makes like 10 bad saves. I guess that's actually realistic. Valverde, Leroy Sané. Sané finesse shot. Man, it's going to be right at the keeper, though. Covered a space. We find a pass here. Sané is in a good spot. Sané tries to find a shot. Finds a shot, but of course, it's going to be blocked. This formation uh, definitely causes a lot of chances like that. We're on the byline and a lot of drag backs. I feel like that's a lot of my mainly attacks here, and I don't really like that. I feel like it's just hard to create chances other than that. Okay, Suso. Oh, man. I did not expect him to get by there. And then he, Keppa, Keppa makes an amazing save. I don't even know what just happened there, but Keppa, that is very good. Bruce, Vinicius. Man, I need players to run, though. Out to Fran Garcia. Garcia. Crossover. Bellingham. Oh! Bellingham goes for a bicycle kick. That would have been insane. I think maybe next episode we'll try the 4 through 3 a little bit. Because this formation just seems very one-dimensional attacking-wise. Like, everything's through the middle. Everything's just uh, very congested. And it's a lot of drag backs from the fullbacks. Okay, Bellingham. That's a great steal. Valverde, Sané. Sané has Bellingham. Bellingham could seal this game with a goal. And Bellingham will seal this game with a goal. Man, defense just straight into an attack. The only issue is if we play a 4-3-3, three, three, who's up top at striker? Like, some of you guys said that Bellingham should play like a false 9. Like, maybe a 4-3-3 three, three, false 9 with Bellingham at center forward. Maybe that works. I don't know. I just feel like next episode we should try, like, different formations a little bit. This might be a system that just works a lot better in real life than in uh, FC. I mean, saying that, we should win this game using it, so. Suso, Suso. Okay, what a good tackle, Garcia. Just get it out. Safe defending. Just be safe. Now, Leroy Sané's got space to pick up the ball. Leroy Sané is making a good run. Now, Sané, try to cross it. Okay, that is a very good cross. The rebound goes to Valverde. Valverde just knows where to be. It's another rebound where he's right place, right time in the perfect spot. And it's 3-0 to Real Madrid. Okay, definitely a bounce back after that 6-2 uh, loss in Napoli. Yeah, Valverde is just Mr. Uh, like Mr. Nowhere to be. So our first really big uh, shaky moment today. But after that, two really good wins. So I would say that's a bounce back. Let me know in the comments, though, what formation should we try in the next episode? And I feel like new signings, Leroy Sané and Santiago Jimenez are really good pickups for the team. And the team is stronger. And that's why we currently sit top of La Liga. Now, also... So in the next episode, we get our youth scouting reports back and I may have taken a peek here at them and we may have found the next Real Madrid Academy star. If you want to see that, then drop a like down below. And if you want to watch a full movie of us making Arsenal the best team in the world, then click on screen to watch that.